Oh, wow. Oh, nice. That's a pretty good special effect there, isn't it? Well, hello and welcome to The Shallow Proclamation. My name is Paul. And I'm Thomas. And we are continuing our watch through season three of the original classic series of Doctor Who um, from way back in 1966. Um, we've slogged through the 12 part Dalek master plan. We've uh, got through the four part uh, massacre uh, with no surviving footage at all. And we're finally, finally at a story which is actually complete. And wow. I moving. thought I'd never live to see the day. I know, I know. So, um, yeah, I think this is one of only... We're about to watch The Ark. Um, hmm. It's a four-parter. I think it's one of only three stories in this season that is actually complete. As always, guys, do give us a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. Do pass this on to others who you think might enjoy it. And, of course, get down in the comments and let us know what you think of these stories because we enjoy interacting with those things there. Um yeah, so Thomas, shall I give you a bit of info on the arc? Before Please do. We, um... So it's broadcast on the 5th to the 26th of March 1966, originally, uh, written by Paul Erickson and Leslie Scott, um, and it was directed by Michael Emerson. There's a bit of a story there about the writing there. Um, so Leslie Scott is the first woman credited as a writer on Doctor Who. Oh, wow. Because the previous story was the first female director, wasn't it? Paddy Russell, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. Uh, however, uh, there's a bit of a story, it's a bit strange. Um, so apparently, um, although, so Leslie Scott is the wife of Paul Erickson, the other writer, but apparently she did no work on the script. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and when asked about this, Paul Erickson said, uh, about why he gave her the credit. It was a personal arrangement I had with her, which was my own personal business at the time. The circumstances went into history. I need say no more than that. <laughs> and you're like, there's a story, there's definitely a story there. You're like, what, what has gone on what? there? Okay, wow. So if anyone has any more info on that, that's a, that's a real little bit of trivia I'd like to know about, because that just seems odd. <laughs> like She didn't write anything, but... There were reasons. Like she knows where the bodies are buried or something. I don't know. Like it's just just slightly odd. Yeah. Um, yes, and it's our first full story with a new companion. Yes, of course. I've forgotten her name. The the new girl. Uh, she's dead as oh, a dild. Dead as a <laughs> <laughs> well, this has taken a turn. This has taken a turn. Oh, no, definitely. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I don't know. <laughs> Golly, well. I think somehow the planet Dido from that first story with Vicky was still in my head, and then yeah. I was thinking Dodo, and it, they kind of combined and. Oh man! Yeah, oh, that and that's so... your story, and you're sticking with it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, we should probably watch some Doctor Who. <laughs> so, yeah, new companion. Yeah, Do Dodo. Dodo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thomas. <laughs> I've got it. I can't include that, can I? Oh, you've got to. You can't cut that. That's the oh, gold. That's so embarrassing. I don't, oh, I don't. I, I, why did that happen? It was a slip, <laughs> a slip of the tongue. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, it's nice to be uh, back to moving images again. Oh, that's some kind of this a guana nice, thing. Yeah, this is a nice bit of... I don't know, just, I'm just going to say stock footage, but maybe it's not. Maybe they got some kind of iguana. Yeah. Or lizard gecko thing, whatever it is. It's William Hartnell in a leotard. Oh, wow. They've gone to town, haven't they? No, this can't be stock footage. This must be in the studio. Oh my goodness, that is terrifying. 
that's a really cool design for the alien. It's like a... Wow. The lips are like the eyelids. Yeah. That's... that's... Apparently the actors have ping pong balls in their mouths. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to keep me up. It's a good set, Thomas. I'm it not going to lie. They must have done it in a zoo or something. No, this must be in the studio, surely. With all those animals? Yeah, it's only two animals. It was... <laughs> there was a snake as well, wasn't there? What's her accent? Well, I think she's supposed to be uh, Liverpudlian, but her accent will change throughout, I believe, because I don't think it was accepted that you could have a... Oh, I don't know actually what her accent's supposed to be. I've got no idea what her accent's supposed to be. Um, mm. But I think you were supposed to have an RP accent generally, so... Right. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. That's a pretty good special effect there, isn't it? I mean, microcell size is very small. Yeah, how do they? How do they know he's in there? <laughs> Just jump out. <laughs> he dropped him. Oh. This ground we're standing on. It appears to be trembling. Mm. Mm. Is it more the way he slightly just <laughs> moved his hand there. <laughs> it's trembling, isn't it, Paul? Yeah. yeah. He's smothering her. Yeah. And Dodo is actually the third companion to die. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> is this really a spaceship? This city and all that surrounds it? Yes, indeed. This, I like this. <laughs> it's a very quirky yeah. performance, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's, it's a bit out there. Yes, indeed. <laughs> it's just like everything's slightly amusing to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they all died. Many years Apparently, from their What are the guys doing in the background? The sign language sort of stuff. I think they're doing a little dance. <laughs> Bit of mime. Being allowed to come on this joy. Is it? It's a film. Two words. Uh... <laughs> it's cool outfits. It's kind of like ancient Greek or something. Yeah, it's cool. It, I can kind of imagine that in a distant future, people would kind of return to something like that. Mm, yeah. The rest have been reduced to microcell size. They are stored in trays and will re-emerge normally when we land. Each cabinet contains a million people. Oh, oh my yes. goodness! That's wow. yeah, that's there very clever. Started on Earth, due to be completed just before the landing on Refusus. 700 years to sculpt one statue. Yes, we're constructing it by hand using the ancient methods. It's for our children. Yeah, our they're children kind of going back to the the basics. Yeah, because the ancients also used little driving cars like that to move their things around. <laughs> What's all the fuss about? The man's got Dodo's cold, that's all. All, all. These people, this generation, have never experienced the common cold. For the simple oh, wow. reason it was wiped out many generations ago before they were born. They have no resistance to it. I don't quite know. It's like COVID all over again. But it might Gosh. be fatal. Wow. The plague. There's the Death Star. <laughs> Quite a long hang on that final shot there. Yeah, I wanted to stay in it. Why? Britbox always rushing us on to the next thing. And they don't want you to see the credits. It's all that no. modern life, isn't it? And they just... Rushing through. No credit where credit's due. Hey. <laughs> so, what did you make of that? I thought that was, I thought that was flipping fantastic, actually. <laughs> yeah, can't fault it, really. Great. I mean, it had, to, it, <laughs> it had some questionable moments. I think the, the commander guy was slightly overdoing it. Oh, fascinating. <laughs> uh, but um, I think uh, yeah the setup was phenomenal like the this spaceship where they're shrinking humans and they can take a million in each box and they're kind of living like the ancient Greeks and are returning to the classical period and making those sculptures and they put so much thought into it and then the idea that 
the common cold is sort of fatal to them because they they haven't experienced it before and suddenly the central figures of the show are responsible for a tragedy and like, how do they mm. wrestle with that oh it's doing so much wasn't it oh yeah wow amazing yeah I'm slightly blown no. away by it <laughs> No, I agree. And it, it's another example, I think, of how the show is still doing lots of fresh ideas at this stage. Yeah. Um, and it is a really simple idea, isn't it? The idea of... Um, that idea of the people being kind of knocked out by the common cold because they don't have any resistance to it. I think that's such a nice uh, such a nice idea to kind of work with. But like I say, very kind of simple idea. Um, but makes perfect sense as well that that could be the case they've never had, they've got no resistance to it because it's been wiped out um, and even a common cold could therefore be devastating for these people it could wipe out humanity effectively um, mm. so yeah it's great and I think it look. I mean it looks great um, I think the scenes in the sort of the, the wildlife kind of landscapes I mean how they've created that inside looks amazing you know mm. just brilliant um, and obviously using real animals as well um and, and then you know the set of the the main sort of room they're in the control place um, and then that's a little bit to the side isn't there with the statue um, obviously got the feet of the statue carved there um, again there's there's a lot of scope in there so that it's doing a lot of work like you say already um, yeah yeah so a great start really phenomenal um, the, the only thing I didn't pick up on was uh, forgive me if this was mentioned but the monoid people the people with the eyes in their mouths mm. who who are they or what are they i think they're sort of like their servants right uh, yeah they're, so they're not like slash slaves okay so they're not like ultra evolved humans or something like that no i don't think so robots no, no. Or, they yeah. may become clearer as we dive yeah. on um, okay. yeah i think yeah if i i mean it'd be good to take a if if I had to pick like a, a positive, like try and narrow it down to one thing, I think I would just say I would focus on the 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 uh, the kind of land the sets with the landscapes and thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, yeah, I completely agree. Um, yeah, you I would think... feel proud if you were a set if you were a set designer. Oh yeah, and you'd put that together and you saw it on camera like that, you'd be like, yeah. Oh no, it's completely worth just the work. For... It's just yeah no it's just very it's funny we, it feels like we say it every time but it does genuinely feel like the sets to just they keep pulling out all the stops um, exactly if episode. I think the sets are bad I'll be like sets not very we'll good we'll mention it yeah like yeah. the uh, <laughs> keys of Marinus ice set wasn't oh, very yeah. good didn't look no. like ice no with its so we'll chasm. be honest about that yeah 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 that's true. <laughs> I think for me the highlight was probably that plot point about the common cold. I think that's mm. like simple. Seems like a simple thing, um, or yeah, this thing that is kind of just a, a mild inconvenience to us is actually life or death for mm. people in the future. I think that's a really clever sci-fi idea. Do you have any first reflections on Dodo? Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. She's quite different to Vicky and Susan sort of like ultra kind of bubbly and maybe a little bit overconfident um but yeah i quite like her actually i, I didn't feel annoyed by her <laughs> yeah so it's a good start no what about you? i mean i i guess she's not a companion i i've seen loads of her in because again, again not much of her stuff exists um yeah she's not someone i'm really familiar with um or have a particular affinity to because of that um yeah i mean she what the thing that feels a little odd is that she's just come in she's very settled given that she's literally just arrived and that was it she's yeah just, almost like there's no it doesn't feel like real like that's how you would respond you feel you'd be a bit more i don't know maybe some people would just slip straight into it as if it was like another day in the office but <laughs> it doesn't feel quite right to me like it doesn't feel like she she she's acting like she's been there for ages given that she's only just walked through the door yeah <laughs> it doesn't Ooh, sit we're in whip snared <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly so yeah. Uh, yeah but you know uh, we'll see how we go with her so awesome yeah. 
Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, do give us a subscribe if you'd like to join us for the next one and let, let us know your thoughts on that episode. And we'll be back very soon. Goodbye. Lovely. Take care.